Shane from Barrow Buddies here. It's Christmas Q&A time. That's why I'm dressed up looking like, uh, well, we won't say what live on here. But uh, happy Christmas to all of you. I've just got a little message before we actually start the Q&A, which is I'm completely sold out on all my kits now. So there's going to be none available until after Christmas in the new year. All I'll say is thank you for all your support. It's been excellent. We've sold out of everything we've had. We've had 100% feedback on everything. Everyone's loving their new kits out there at the moment. But we've gone back a bit to do a Q&A because I've got a bit of time. I can't get no stock or I'll be making now. So I've cut off for Christmas. I hope you guys will be soon because you've got to celebrate the festive season. I mean, especially if you've got kids. It's a time for having fun and a little bit of imagination shown by everyone. But before we get into the questions, as I said, I'm sold out. If you still want one for the new year, because there will be big lists growing, get on the waiting list, because they're only going to get bigger. I mean, if you're thinking like January, Feb time, you're going to want a kit, get on there now. There's no obligation. You don't have to pay nothing. All I take is what model of barrel you've got and your phone number, and that'll go on the list. Then when I've got them available, I can ring you. I mean, even at the time, if you're skin. We've just had Christmas, it's a costly month of the year to everyone. Uh, you can be put back on the next list after. There's no obligation to pay. The lists are just there to give me a rough idea of how many people want the kits and what's available for you, just so you know you haven't got a huge lead wait time. So just get on there if you're interested, guys. Happy Christmas, just having a slurp before we get started on the questions. Right, uh, question one. Got Stephen from Brentwood. Oh, I have a big boy. It's not powered, but can I get a swivel wheel for, kit for this? And can I use my existing big chunky back wheels on it? Uh, Stephen, I'm afraid you can't use the big chunky wheels. I did try um, in prototype using them, but they were very awkward, clumbersome. They didn't like to swivel. They gathered a lot of mud in the winter, which does alter the way the swiveling works. So I had to go against it. Um, I did try, mate, but... I mean, the way I've done it now works so much better because I've kept your barrel the same height, so it's not going to change in height. We have gone down to the 10-inch pneumatics like what the Mark 8 has been using for the last 20 years, so we know they're proven and tested in mud, and they actually swivel so much better. Not only that, they cut through the mud better. I mean, with a power porter, you want to get your grip from the front wheel. That's your power unit. That's what's forcing the drive. The back wheels are just trailing wheels, like trailer wheels. So they're just getting dragged and they're following. So I thought when I was designing it with the smaller wheels, they cut through. They're saving you battery energy out of your battery because you're not creating as much drag. Obviously, with the big, cumbersome, knobbly wheels, they're originally designed to give you a bit of extra stability. But where this kit is slightly wider, and the stance of the wheels and the way you swivel when you go to tip, it's made it that much more stable as well. So it, you don't need the big heavy wheels. These are gonna give you extra battery life and give you power port more power. Um, when you use it, I mean, you'll know straight away just, just by the feel of it and what it does. I mean, they're designed, I don't think we can design this any better. They work absolutely fantastic on the big boy or the extreme, which is exactly the same barra. And uh, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, you've got to get a set or try a set. You see someone around the lake, have a go of these first. Don't take my word for it. Read the feedback. Um, I'm sure you won't be disappointed, Stephen. Jay from Luton. I have an extreme 24 volt. I've been looking at your kits on your website and watching all the videos on YouTube. Your wheel kit looks absolutely fantastic, but I'm a bit worried that it's going to come out a little bit wide. Uh, I'm worried about will I get it in my car? Uh, well, to be fair, Jay, I mean, you've got the Extreme, which is quite a widthy barrel anyway, which comes out, I think, about a total width of about 35 inches with the wheels on outside wheel to outside wheel. And I mean, your sidebars normally, when adjusted, stick out wider than that anyway. I mean, these are slightly wider. I think they're about an inch and a half wider either side. So we're not talking a lot, three inches wider. Like I said, your sidebars are probably wider than that anyway. I mean, the original first kits I did do did come out a lot wider, which was a bit of a problem for some people. That's why I had to go back to the drawing board 
and redesign the whole thing and turn it into like a new back leg system just for strength durability and the way they work and no one's had an issue since when you know they've got this on saying it's too wide now it's going in cars it's going in vans because you do have the option it's like your old existing leg although you're not using that pin system anymore you're using a bolt system you still do have two bolts that come out with butterfly nuts so you can fold the back leg down all the wheels stay on it you don't have to take the wheels off it all goes nice and flat if you look on my website, you'll see pictures of them when they're all folded down. And even in a van, I mean, they're getting them in the little vans, even like the, the escort size vans, they're getting them in, you know, when they're fully loaded with all their gear on. So I don't think the width is an issue because even with a swivel wheel, you can put your nose in and then S the background, which even helps you even more than what it would do uh, originally. So hope that helps you on that one, Jay. Colchester, my mate's got your new kit. I tried it the other day and wow, it's amazing. I can't believe the difference it makes. Well, thank you there, Trent. Uh, I have a Mark 8. Can I get one for this, Barra? You can get one, yes. Yeah, I do them for most makes and models now. I mean, there is lists on the website of what Barras I do them for. I mean, it's not just Cartport. It's Nash, uh, Tracker, Fox. You know, there's a huge range out there. I mean, you've only got to PM me with what barrier you've got and what model. I mean, I'm even doing the TFG Juggernaut now, which has a slightly wider uh, width on it as well. Um, there's plenty of barriers out there, but on your case, because you've got the Mark 8, you need, I do two different kits. I do the lower kit, which covers all the handles that basically the easiest way are up here, like the big boy in the extreme, you hold them like that, and they have that little swaying handle at the bottom. So anyone with that type will want the lower kit. Your handles, you're obviously holding your hands like a wheelbarrow, so you would need the higher kit, because obviously your stance of your barra as a, of a Mark 8 naturally sits like a ski ramp going forward, so the weight gets put over the front wheel. So we've had to keep that shape of the barra, um, just because you never lift again, so you, you want your hands at a comfortable height when using it, just for turning it. I mean, some people have asked me, uh, they like the way the big boy is nice and flat, can they do this with a Mark 8? Yes, you can, but it means you'd have to go out and purchase the pram-style handle from Cart Porter, and then you'd need to buy the lower kit. Then this would give you a same sort of setup of like what the Extreme is, because you're like, keeping that barrel flat. But it depends. Some people love the way the Mark 8 sits, the position of the handle. Some people like being up here with a big boy. Everyone's got their own opinion on the matter. And, uh, you know, it's just to your own preference. But as standard, with the standard handles on a Mark 8, you'd need a higher kit. It's, that basically does the same thing. It's just that the legs on the arms on the triangle brackets which attach to your frame are obviously that much longer just to counteract when you're walking with it you're not bent over, you're walking comfortably and everything's a breeze going down to your swim. So I hope that helps you on that one, Trent. Trevor from Dudley. Uh, I own a TFG Juggernaut. Do you do a swivel kit for this barra? Well, we was just mentioning that in the last question, actually, Trevor. Yes, I do do a kit for it now because I have ordered me jig to take it because the width of your frame is a little bit wider than the 20 inches, which most are. But you do have to message me and tell me that you've got a TFG because it has to be made specially when it goes off to the painter. So when I'm doing a batch of 50, obviously this is why another reason why I do the waiting list because it will let me know how many people want them for the TFG or different barrows. I mean, you've only got to PM me and then I can get them and then obviously mark them up so when they come back from the painter, we know which one's yours and you're getting the right whip for the white barra. So yeah, it's not a problem, mate. Just, uh, I do do weight lifts for TFGs uh, as well, like we said before. So just get on to me on that one and uh, we can get that sorted for you, mate. Jack from Shropshire. I've recently bought an Extreme 24 volt and I like the look of your kit. I've been watching the videos now and it really does look the one for me. But could you tell me, are they easy to fit and what are the advantages of having this kit? Well, Jack, uh, on the fitting wise, they're pretty simple. It'll take about three or four minutes. When you buy the kit, I do send you a link to a little video that shows you exactly what to do. So there's nothing to worry about on that one. 
on the advantages of the barrel there's many advantages of having uh, this kit it's made from double the thickness steel so strength's not an issue it's double the thickness of what your barrel is so the whole back leg system with the wheels built in which it comes obviously with the wheels is uh really strong nothing to worry about there it's all powder coated in the green so it's going to match the majority of barrels there might be a few shades it's different on um you've got about 50 percent better stability with it so even if you do only extreme like you do and you suffer with it tipping this is going to dramatically help you out on the regards of it tipping i mean obviously the main advantage is the 360 turning circle you can turn on the spot you now will drive your barra and not drag it there's no need to lift your barra apart from maybe if you're packing up putting in the car but most of these days are even not doing that they're powering it onto the van uh, so you've got the better stability, you've got the extra strength, you've got independent brakes on both wheels, not just one, on both, which is put on with the tips of your toes and taken off with the tips of your toes, so no bending involved. You can lock your barrel up if you're on a van to stop it moving in transport, obviously, or you're on a steep hill and you want to have a blow when you're out and about, you've got that option of putting the brakes on. Or even when you're down at the swim and you've got like a, a heavy degree bank, put the brakes on just so you know your barrel ain't going to go nowhere and it's not going to go in the water. Uh, on these kits as well, you got uh, another advantage is that if you suffer with wheel alignment, so any barra that's, you know, veering right or left, powered or pushed, it's a pain up the bum. I mean, there's nothing worse than having to keep correcting yourself. With this, no matter how far your front wheel's bent out of line, this will automatically correct it. Because you've got trailing swivel wheels, it will automatically make your barra go straight. So you ain't got to worry about that. So it's got many advantages of having the kit. Just makes life a lot easier going to and from the swim. And I mean, if you've got any disabilities, etc., and you have trouble lifting or, or dragging, you know, it's just easing the strain, making life a lot easier. So I hope that helps. Jacob from Great Yarmouth. I have a Fox Explorer Barra with a power porter front wheel kit I've put on it. Do you do a swivel wheel kit to fit this barra? Yes, Jacob, we do. I had a, a local man come down from Braintree just last week uh, that brought it down. We tried it out on the Fox Explorer and he had an aftermarket wheel kit on it and it worked like a dream. It was absolutely fantastic in working. So you haven't got a problem there. But you will need the higher kit because on the Fox Explorer, they have the handles that loop down low at the back. So they are like, you do hold them like a wheelbarrow. So you will need the higher kit, but it definitely works a treat on that one, mate. So no worries there. Gary from Southampton. I purchased one of your swivel wheel kits for my power porter and it's the best bit of kit I've owned. It's actually transformed my barra from being a veer in pain into a pleasure to use. So thank you on that one. Cheers, Gary. Always nice to hear, mate. Uh, but my question is, I've seen you do barra pods. Will this fit on my barra? Yeah, barra pods, they come in a set of four. They, all they are is a bracket that when you get down to your swim, you're just utilizing your barra. I mean, it's like Marmite. Some people will love them, some people will hate them. It depends on your the way you are and the way you, know, the way you fish. But Literally, you just take out your side bars when you get there, put them in your bivvy, and then, or you can even take your front bars and handles out. Some people are even doing it that way. There's a few pictures on my website of them used, you know, being shown in both different ways. Um, and it literally just goes in the slot of where your side bar or front bar goes. You slide it in, you lock it out, obviously, to what width you want it. You've got four of them, so they're going to go in all points on your barra. And then they've got another little locking bit that goes up and down. So not only going in and out, they go up and down. So you can have your rods podded up on your barra and, and obviously you can point the tips down if you like it to walk facing the water or if you like it up in the air. I mean, you, it's to your preference. You can set them up what way you want. It's literally just got your standard thread in the top, which you would just screw your own bite alarms in, obviously at the front and your butt rests at the back. You can set it up, I mean, if you wanted to, you could have six rods. I know there's nowhere that even lets you have six rods these days, but, you know, you could have one, two, three, four, five, six. As many as, you know, you put your buzz bars on and screw it in, you know, you can do it to your own preference that way. 
I mean, what I will say, I know you're utilising the space on your barra, but it's not only that. I mean, if you're doing a night session, you're, you're worried about, you've got like 1,200 quid's worth of power pool in there, sitting beside your bivvy, you, you know, you're drifting off and you're worried that someone's going to steal it, which in this day and age is a possibility, I'm afraid to say, you know, it happens everywhere. I mean, you've got that added security aspect. Is if you're using that power porter and you've got your all your rods running through it with all them bite alarms, if someone was to try and take your rods or your barra, them alarms are going to go off and wake you up. And, you know, it, it's just like an alarm for the barra as well. So it's got like a double-edged sword on that one. It, you know, it, it helps on um, barra protection and, and theft as well as utilising the space so you don't have to take you know, more gear and take your pods with you because you can just have your bite alarms set up on these bars. So when you get there, you take your side bars out, push them in, boom, 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 screw them up, set them up how you want them, out there, ready to go. You know, you've just saved yourself another 10, 15 minutes worth of fishing time. So these pod kits will go on any barrier that has anywhere that screws in. So, I mean, if you ain't got side bars and you've only got front bars and handles, I know, uh, a bloke, I think his name Mike Taylor on my site, shows you how to use his portal light. You know, he, he loves it. He, he takes out his front bar, takes his handles out, and he uses front and back and runs them that way. And uh, he swears by them. So, you know, there's, there's uh, fit many bearers out there. As soon as you've got a thread and that one-inch bar so you can slide something in there, they're going to work. So, uh, you know, it's up to you, mate. You either love them or you hate them, like I said. I have seen pictures on your site of hooks on the side of barrows. Are these strong enough to take full bait buckets? Well, I'm sure if you double them up, yeah, they'll be strong enough. I mean, they're literally, they won't benefit you if you use the side pannier bags because you can't use them if you've got side bags on your barra, but some people you like them, some people don't. I mean, they literally it, are just hooks. They're solid still, so they're not gonna bend. And then they've got stainless bolts that say that's your side bar. They clamp over. You've got a little plate and two butterfly nuts. So you can screw them on. You get four to a set. You can screw them on your side bars. You can push them together, hang buckets off them. Um, but they're really designed for like fishermen that's on the move that, you know, don't want to reset up and put all their rods back away in bags just because they want to move the other side of the lake. They can leave them set up on their rods and you can just put one rod either side but still transfer all your tackle and, you know, push your bar around and go to the other side of the lake. So when you get there, boom, boom, you know, they're off your barra. You can just cast back out and you're back out within minutes. It's just a time-consuming thing that helps certain people same with like the barapods you know it might not you know help or benefit you but it does help and benefit others so if that's what you need then i mean get them a set of four forty quid you can't go wrong mate I'm wrap it up with one last question today because you've heard me rabbiting on for a while and you oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> so uh I've, this is going to be the last one i promise you we got lee from clacton are you going to be at the essex carp show in the end of january no, I'm not uh, Lee, but I have got a friend there that's name is Keith Williams, a great fisherman that uh, is on the Angling Technics stand, which has got some leaflets. So if you want any information on the barra, sometimes he will actually have his barra there. So you can have a look at his barra with him on the barra and have a little feel. Whether he will at the essence, I don't know. I don't know what sort of room he's got or whether he's allowed to take his barra. But go and see Keith Williams down at Angling Technics stand, and he will have uh, some leaflets he can give you, which has all my details, information, pictures of kits on different barras and the different products I do. So uh, I would love to come and do a show, but I'm just a one-man band at the moment. I'm still only small, and the overheads are really big for them type of shows. And I just haven't got the stock. I'm, you know, I can't keep up with what I'm getting online and, you know, from the Facebook and YouTube pages. So maybe in the future, maybe next year, it'll be a different story, who knows? But uh, time will tell on that one, Lee. But uh, I hope you enjoy the show. And like I say, anyone wants uh, 
to get any advice. I mean, go to Andy and the Technic stand anyway, because they've got some great deals on there, some excellent uh, bait boats and what have you. So it's well worth a gander to have a look even for that. But, you know, if, you, if you're interested in the barrel as well, and, you know, you could double double head on that one, you get yourself a bait boat, and, it, and you know, you can get some literature on the barrel buddies and all the bits we do. Go and see Keith down at Angling Techniques. I'd just like to wrap it up there, guys. Um, it's been nice talking to you all again. Uh, like I say, thank you for the support you've given Barra Buddies over the last year. It's been fantastic. I mean, we're selling out everything we make. Um, without you, we're nothing. And uh, I'm hoping that I'm helping people with disabilities, arthritis, etc. And, and, you know, people that's had even hip operations I've had that's helping them get on the road back out there so they can get back out on the swim. So have a happy Christmas, everyone. A happy new year, prosperous new year. I hope everyone gets through it. Um, fantastic. And we'd love to see you again in the summer. So tight lines for now, guys, and I'll see you soon.